And Elijah said unto Elisha, If thou shalt see me as I'm being taken over. Now the Bible said that this his ogre was taken up by a wild wind. So I'm going to borrow. You have strength. Okay. I want to borrow one more person that have strength. So this is Elijah. Now I want you to stand this way. I want you to come over this way. So at some point when you get close to him, raise him up. So let me say this to you. Wild winds or a wild wind is simply two currents of wind coming from the opposite direction. And when they jam themselves, they create that spin that you are looking at. So, for God to lift Elijah up, he had to bring him in the middle of two situations that were contradicting themselves. So, imagine he receives a word of prophecy and then he meets a situation that is contradicting what he received. No problem. Let both of them be coming. What is going to happen is that this man, whatever that is going on in his life now, is going to jack him up. God decides to jack Elijah up to heaven. He used a wild wind contradicting wind, opposing wind, winds that were not agreeable. Lord, you said it will happen by so and so tight. Situation is saying, eh, eh, it doesn't look like it's happening. Lord, I'm in the middle of a contradiction. What do I believe? Should I believe this? Should I believe that? Should I do this? Should I do? And God says, listen, I created the wild wind for one reason. So, I want you to put it gradually. If I say one, you keep moving. If you get close to him, jack him up. So, one, get closer. Two, three, four, five. Five, I jack him. The things that came to oppose you, the things that came to antagonize in five days, in five days, in five days, it will move you to a new season, move you to a new season, move you to a new season. Can you release yourself a loud amen?